In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the skin tone tool to enhance skin tones and make them more uniform. The skin tone tool can be found in the third tab in the color editor. If you haven't watched the color editor tutorial, I highly recommend watching this first as the skin tone tool is an extension of this. So I'll show you how to take this photo and adjust the skin tones into this. Notice that the tool doesn't do any retouching, it just fine tunes the tone of the skin. Here is my original photo. To ensure I don't affect any other colours, I'll create a mask just for the skin tone, which I can apply my adjustment to. I'll add a new layer and call this skin tone. I'll use the shortcut B to select the brush and I'll right click on the photo to bring up my brush settings. It's usually easier to use bigger brush strokes and erase smaller areas afterwards, so I'll increase my brush size and the hardness a bit as well. So let me brush over the skin now. Remember, you can use the square bracket keys to change the brush size quickly. Now I'll remove any areas I don't want included. I'll zoom in a bit closer by using the shortcut H to switch to my pan cursor tool and double clicking the lips, as I definitely don't want these colours to be affected. Now I'll select my erase brush using the shortcut E and just remove the mask here. Remember you can use the shortcut M to hide or show the mask. I'll drag out the colour editor tool and make this a bit bigger so I can see what I'm doing more clearly. Now I'll pick the colour range I want to adjust. So let me find a good skin tone somewhere around here. Now I have my colour range selected. So the skin tone tool is very much about fine tuning. The unique part of this tool are the three uniformity sliders here. The first slider called hue will make the hues within my colour range more uniform. Let me drag this all the way to 100 to show the effect. So at this level, the skin doesn't really look natural because there should always be some variations in colour. For a more realistic look, I'll move this back down until I feel there's a good balance. If the colour is too magenta or green, I can tweak the hue in the amount slider up here. This will shift the whole range in each direction, like so. When I'm happy with the actual hue, I can decrease the hue uniformity to balance it between uniform and natural. So somewhere around here works for me. Next we have the saturation uniformity. So if I drag this up to 100, it will evenly saturate the area and colour range. Again, skin has variations, so to make sure it doesn't look unnatural, I'll find a good balance. Remember, these uniformity sliders behave differently than the amount sliders. If I want to adjust the overall saturation of the skin, I have to use the saturation amount slider up here. The last uniformity slider is lightness. This will even out lightness differences. Again, you want a nice natural result, so somewhere around here is sufficient. Lightness also has a corresponding amount slider up here, which affects the overall lightness of the colour range. Now that the amount and uniformity sliders are set, let me quickly mention the smoothness slider. This determines how much the adjustments of the colour range will bleed into the surrounding colours. Usually I don't have to touch this slider at all when it comes to skin tone adjustments. Now I've finished making my adjustments, I'll drag the colour editor tool back. Let's take a look at the photo with our skin tone layer turned off and back on and off and on again. Remember that since the adjustment is on a layer, the effect can be reduced by lowering the opacity here.